my name is Tatiana. And my name is Brian, and we're here at Dalla Park for the World Tuna Day celebrations. And the Marshall Islands Tuna Bites competition. Can you tell us more about why you think making a best tuna dish competition is important? Well, as we all know, we live around the ocean. Ocean is beside us, and tuna is the number one thing in here in the Marshall Island. And it's one of the most things that make our economy grow. And also to showcase who we are as a Marshallese. Right now, the competitors are so eager to start the event, and we can't wait as well. We'll see how it goes from there. We'll be starting off the event with the tuna cutting competition, and from there, we'll move the cuts to the cooking competitions, which include general tuna cooking and tuna poke making. We'll also have the tuna jerky competition in which we notified the competitors to prepare prior to this day, as making tuna jerky takes a couple days. Speaking about all this food is making me hungry, so what's your favorite tuna dish, Brian? Well, uh, my favorite tuna dish would be uh, the tuna jerky. It's uh, convenient, you can take it over with you. If you want to miss uh, your meal, you can go get at it, just keep it in your pocket, eat whenever you want. Yes, very exciting. We have a lot of participants this year. Let's go and check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now just finished the tuna carving competition and we're making our way towards the cooking competition and also the poke making competition. It's gonna be wild. Hey guys, we're here with Kiola Davis, second place winner of the poke competition. Uh, last name is Diaz, <laughs> not Davis. I don't know who the hell Davis is. It ain't me. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Keola Diaz, who won second place in the tuna poke competition. So, Keola, why did you decide to join this competition? I want to join because, you know, it's fun. It's fun to make food. It's fun to eat food, hang out with people. Just enjoy everyone's company with food. Love it. Especially tuna. And what would you say is special about your dish specifically? So it's a, just a, a matter of the different combinations. And usually you don't put masago or tobiko, which is the fish eggs, with shoyu poke, which is kind of an old school Hawaiian poke. But I like it. I thought others might enjoy it. So I put the masago in there. I put a little bit of Korean chili pepper powder. And so that makes it a little bit different. I'll be back next year to and take first place. first place. Yeah. You got this. First. We want to thank you guys for joining our event and we hope to see you next year in the Marshall Islands. We'd also like to give a big thanks to all the competitors and all those who lend their hands in any way they can help. The event was successful and we hope to see you guys next year.